Hey FFM, how's it going guys? Another Trader Tip Tuesday guys. Alright, so for today's all intents and purposes, I want to talk about some dumbbell cleans, alright? Not like we're going to come and wipe them, clean them off, disinfect, sanitize. Ah, bad joke there. Alright, but not really. Dumbbell cleans, alright? Um, this dumbbell clean is very, very um, effective as far as full body movement goes. It's a, a kinetic chain of energy, if you really think about this. It starts from the bottom of the feet and coming all the way up through those toes, the legs, through the torso, the shoulders, the hands. I mean, everything is involved with this clean, right? So a couple of movement patterns that happen with the dumbbell clean is we do hinge at those hips and we even squat just a bit at that hinge. And even through that hinge and squatting, when we pop up, it's like it throws to the hips to shoot them forward. There's gonna be some upright rowing action with this because you gotta must flip those dumbbells. All right, so almost like a curl, so scratch that upright row, more like that curl, okay, on that clean action. So we wanna make sure when we're doing these cleans, I know we warm up prior, you know, on the boot camp, we cool down afterwards, but in case you are ever performing these, uh, this exercise move outside of boot camp, please be sure that you are warm, you've stretched, you got the blood flow going, that way you're safe and it's effective and you're not going to have any chance again of injuring yourself while performing the dumbbell cleans. With that being said, let's head into the dumbbell cleans there. Remember always, always, always that breathing technique and nose out that mouth always, all right? Because that's going to be key and important through these cleans. I'm going to talk you through this step by step and even with the breathing patterns, okay? So always when to squat down and pick up those dumbbells, the safest way to pick up anything that there is, all right? Now, from the front view, I will show you this way uh, about, okay, shoulder width apart is about right here. You're gonna bring the feet in just slightly inside shoulder width apart. I talked about that hinge. Again, I'll show you from the front. I'll take it to the side just a bit. So we're hinging, right? Now a slight squat, or if you think about that deadlift, right? Now the chest is almost proud there. Dumbbells, you notice my dumbbells, the heads are facing down or you can have them flat. But here's the reason why I have the heads facing down because you want to come up. You see how I came up and popped up from my hips there? Should have straight down from that ground, like that deadlift. But when I do, you're going to flip, which is why I have the heads down like so. Easier transfer of energy when I pop up from the hips, I flip, right? Now, another portion of this, when you catch it, okay, on this flip, you need to be in a slight squat stance. Back up, nice and tall. The reasoning to drop down into that squat stance has helped alleviate any of that pressure, right, on those knees when you're catching it, and even that back, it'll help. All right, all that pressure, again, from transferring to that lower back into that uh, lumbar region, but again, protecting those knees there. Um, so literally, it takes, you know, some of that, uh, force okay off of that body okay so again from this front view now sliding inside shoulder width apart i talk about that breathing right you want to breathe in down you want to exhale quick breathe in brace exhale back at that top now show you from the side of you because there's some things that need to happen with these feet that are very 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 important okay now with these feet, when I talk about that hinge, right? We hinge, we slight squat, that deadlift action. Now you're gonna notice with my feet, okay? From this position right here, I'm gonna come up on my toes just a bit. When you do that, that's that transfer of energy. I talked about it in the beginning, kinetic chain. All that does is transfer the energy properly from the bottom of the feet all the way through the hips and protecting, again, that spine, those knees. Again, that slight squat. Now, if you notice my feet are stationary. Now, an actual clean, yes, these are cleans, okay? But for all intended purposes to keep this on point as possible, fam, when you perform a clean, okay, everything is down. The hands, like squat, we pop through the hips, flip those dumbbells, catch any squat, brace that core, come up from that squat. Now, my feet, okay? The reason why you start with a narrow stance is at the top of this movement. When you flip, you're supposed to bring your legs out a little bit wider, pass your shoulder width, reset, 
back down, pop up, those feet move out just a little bit to where they are now in that squat stance. So from that side of you, all those checkpoints, we roll those shoulders back, and jab the hips, slight fall forward. I'm gonna tilt my dumbbells, I'm gonna come up, pop those hips, bring my feet out, catch in that squat, you see that? Now back up nice and tall. Now when I caught in that squat, I still keep that chest upright, core nice and tight, and still weight in the heels. Okay, so very important through these cleans that you're bracing that core on that catch. Exhale, the way you brace that core, pretend something like the punch in that stomach, boom, right? All right, if you ever, you know, if I have someone try to pretend to punch you in the stomach, laugh. Be laughing, engage your core. But literally, okay, on a serious note, when you're doing these, is the inhale, the exhale, and inhale, breathe them out. I'm gonna try to do it as loud as possible so you can hear that on the camera. Uh, but again, this dumbbell cleans, again, it's using the entire body. It's not just using your back to come up like a deadlift there, because even you still use your legs, okay? You're not using your arms to flip those weights. It's that momentum, okay, from that lower half that flips those dumbbells. And again, feet must come out. So I'm gonna show again, one more rep from the front on that side. So you can see this, try to lock that down, pay attention to my posture, my alignment, my breathing, all of that, okay guys? Try to emulate the move the best that you can so you're as safe as possible while we are here. Yes, we'll coach you properly. Yes, we'll watch you, make sure the form is right. And yes, we'll be sure that you're not going any heavier than what you should be on this exercise. Because again, this is a very, very, uh, so what I'm looking for. Um, man, I lost my words, scrambling, scrambling, scrambling. Um, high risk, there we go, I don't know why. High risk exercise, okay fam? So, one more time, taking it from the top there, okay? Here we go guys, got some dumbbell cleans. All right, feet, just sliding inside, shoulder width apart, hinge. You don't want to pause. More float motion. Down, clean, catch, back up. Hope that helps out. Use those glutes. Catch it in a squat. Save that back. Save those knees. Dumbbell cleans. Try to tip Tuesday, fam. Let me know what you think. Try it out. Get those heels down. And let's rock and roll.